Hello, Algebra 1, and as we are continuing on into Chapter 4, we're going to review for one section regarding solving for y. Um, remember, any time that we solve equations, we want to line up our equal signs and we're going to work down the page. And this is a biggie right here. Whenever we are solving for y, we will use inverse operations, inverse operations to solve for y. So let's get to it. 3x minus y equals 10. So think about what has been done to the y. The y has a positive 3x that we need to undo. And then this minus y, remember, it means negative 1y. So those are the two things we have to undo using inverse operations. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this positive 3x. And we will do that by subtracting 3x from both sides. So we end up with negative y equals negative 3x, and remember that 10 is positive, plus 10. And I am going to put it in this order, and we'll see why in just a second. Next, remember, I have negative y, so negative y means negative 1y. So to undo a negative 1 times y, I'm going to use the inverse operation, which is division by negative 1. And remember, every single term will be divided by negative 1. So this is going to give us y all by itself. y equals negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3x. And positive 10 divided by negative 1 is negative 10. We have solved 4y in terms of x. That's what we're going for here. Solving for y in terms of x. Let's see it again. Solving for y in terms of x. Remember we're going to work down the page. So what are we going to do first? We're going to undo negative 3x. And we undo a negative 3x with its inverse operation plus positive 3x. So adding 3x to both sides which gives us 1 fifth y equals 3x plus 10. Now, next we have 1 fifth times y. So for us to undo times 1 fifth, we are going to use the reciprocal of 1 fifth. And the reciprocal of 1 fifth is 5 over 1. So we're going to multiply everything by 5 over 1. Of course, 5 over 1 is just the same as 5. So every single term, the first term and then both terms on the right are going to be multiplied by 5. 5 over 1 times 1 over 5, they are reciprocals. Everything cancels. 5 times 3x is 15x. And 5 times 10 is 50. Now, when we solve for y, we put the linear equation in slope-intercept form. So we just put our equation in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form, you should remember from pre-algebra, is y equals mx plus b, where the slope is m. m, of course, is the coefficient that is in front of the x, not the x, just the number in front of it. And then the y-intercept is the b term, also known as the constant. So in our equation, we have a slope of 15 over 1 and a y-intercept at 50. We will definitely be using that a little further into the chapter. So let's finish out. I've got a couple more equations where we are solving for y in terms of x. And the next two will get a little more complex. So think about what we're doing. We want all our y's on the left. So any term that has a y, bring it to the left. Everything else, 
needs to come over to the right. So y's on the left, x's and constants on the right. So first things first, let's get rid of this 4. Plus 4, plus 4. So it cancels there. Now we can see LT, combine like terms, 6y equals 2y minus 3x plus 8. Next, minus 2y minus 2y. I'm keeping my equal signs lined up. I'm showing all my steps. 6y minus 2y is 4y equals negative 3x plus 8. Last step, this is 4 times y. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. Divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. We're going to get a lot of fractions in doing these problems. A lot of fractions, especially when it comes time to looking for the slope. So the slope here would be negative 3 fourths and the y-intercept b would be 2. So we solved for y in terms of x. One last problem, solving for y in terms of x. Negative 4 times 2x minus 4y equals 20 plus 8x. So the first thing we're going to do is distribute the negative 4 because we're following order of operations so distribute the negative 4 and we get negative 8x negative 4 times negative 4y plus 16y equals 20 plus 8x so from here remember what we did on the last problem we want all of our y terms on the left and everything else on the right. So that means 16y, it needs to stay. But 8x needs to go to the other side. So the x's are fully canceled on the left, and 16y remains. On the right, let's put it in y equals mx plus b form. So 8x plus 8x is 16x plus 20. So from here, divide by 16, divide by 16, divide by 16. y equals 1x plus 20 over 16. So we have a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 20 over 16, which you could simplify by 4s if you so choose. So solving for y in terms of x, that's the first section of chapter 4.